As countries across the globe grapple with the COVID-19 crisis, millions of women and girls struggle in the shadow of another pandemic that has persisted for years, the scourge of gender-based violence. Lockdowns, while necessary for stopping the transmission of the disease, have put too many in close quarters with abusive partners removed from their usual safety nets and support networks. Since the start of the pandemic, reports of domestic and intimate partner violence, as well as survival sex, exploitation, and other forms of GBV have sharply risen in many regions of the world. This trend has had devastating and even lethal consequences. Threats to the safety, dignity, and well-being of crisis-affected persons are even more drastic for refugees and migrants, particularly for women, girls, and those who identify as LGBTI. This reality, coupled with faced increased restrictions on their movement, stigmatization and evictions from their homes, means that many have little choice but to seek shelter in unsafe and congested places. These factors all greatly increase the risk of GBV, and at the same time, policies to put a stop to the virus have resulted in a decrease of access to psychosocial, legal, health, and other life-saving GBV services for survivors. National authorities and humanitarian actors are now challenged to provide meaningful support, timely services, and accurate information to survivors at a time when health services are overburdened, service delivery limited, and shelters and safe spaces have been closed. Hand in hand with authorities and partners, IOM and UNFPA as the technical leads for GBV within the R4V response and interagency response that brings together 151 partner organizations working together to assist refugees and migrants from Venezuela, we're finding new ways to meet the needs of survivors in a time of physical distancing. It's now more important than ever that women and girls can continue to access the services that keep them safe, healthy and out of harm's way.